Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cecilia and today we're going to be doing a mauve look and hope you enjoy. This was a request from a special someone, my sister, Cruz Salazar. Go follow her on Instagram as Cruz Salazar Uno or if I'm wrong, I'll leave it in the description box. And thank you for requesting this look and hope you enjoy. Okay, so first we're going to be using today our Carly Bible, the first palette that she collabed with BH Cosmetics. And first we're going to be, I already applied concealer as a base on my eye. And I'm going to be using some of the shade right here, the creamy one, the matte one, all over my lid. And it's one, with the Morphe brush 135. And I'm just going to be applying it all over in the top just to set this concealer but also as I'm going to use it as a inner corner shade right here I'm just going to apply it sort of there all the way there I'm sorry about the noise so much traffic at this time and then yeah it's crazy and then as a transition I'm going to be using this purpley mauve shade right there it's a really pretty color and I love it and I just apply it all here start from here sort of from the outer corner as a transition I'm gonna use it so I just go all over here and I really love this color like oh just is everything this is a sophisticated look you know that you could use out to go out with your friends just for a nighttime look you can add some black and it'll look so bomb and I just love it. And then I use that same brush, yeah. This wet and wild fluffy brush. And I use the second shade down. This pretty mauve, more purple color. Oh, a little bit lower than that color that I used briefly. More leaning towards the outer V. And I just sweep it over. I hope you can be you see right I just go slowly I really don't put that much pressure because I want it to be really soft bring it out a little bit and then we're gonna be changing brushes and I'm gonna be using a Morphe M322 this really detail brush sort of like a blending brush and I'm gonna be using this pretty purple shade right here in the palette it's a really dark purpley plumish shade and I just like sort of pat in the purple in there in the outer V it's really pigmented you guys so like be careful with it so then I just like go there and I sweep it slowly and then when I have already like applied it where I want it so then I take some again but this time i put it like in the lower lash line already okay and then i'm gonna get my wet and wire brush the blending one and i'm just gonna blend everything over and i'm gonna blend everything over here So just like blending sort of and then if you feel like you need to apply more of the purple you can do so so I'll repeat with that purple and sweep it just a little bit and then also like you want to sort of like here like just conch I'm sorry like just going with your brush so it can like look seamless here the colors blending in and then with that same brush I'm gonna grab a little bit to give it more depth I'm going to grab a little bit of this brownish. I see more like brownish with gray, but it comes out to pretty brown. So I put it there to give it a little bit more depth. In the outer V. Also applying it in the lower lash line. Okay, and then with the blending brush, I'm going to go in with my pretty transition color. And tapping off the excess always 
and I'm just gonna be blending everything. Okay, now I'm gonna be applying my eyeliner from Bisu. I really like this one because it's really black, guys. It's from Mexico, this brand, but I love it when I went. Like, I would, I mean, I watch YouTubers right from Mexico. And she would say that she would use this eyeliner. It's a pencil one. From Bisu. And I'm like, once my sister went to these stores to look for makeup, right? Because, oh my God, she forgot her makeup. And she was like panicking. So she went over there in Mexico because we were in Mexico at that time to look for that, like for makeup, right? Okay, with this brush, the um, M135 from Morphe shadow brush, I use it for the cream color. And I apply a little bit here on the top. So you can see like your shade doesn't go as high. Because sometimes we go overboard. Okay, and now let me see if I can find my concealer brush. Oh yeah, here I have it. So I get a concealer brush, right, to sort of like make my, I think I have some still concealer from right now that I used it. So I just go like that, I sweep it there, and that makes I cut the outer edge, right? So that way you have a guide that helps you a lot to cut already there. I mean, it depends. If you don't want it like this, the sharp line, then don't do it. Just leave it as you have it, and that helps you with the... Um, application of your liquid liner if I can find it anywhere oh my god oh here it is <laughs> I had lost it for a second okay so I just applying my liquid eyeliner okay I just like really start like from here this time I did it kind of thick I think if you mess up, always go in with your concealer. I hope you can see. I'm sorry if I'm get out of frame for a sec so now let's do mascara so i'm using the l'oreal luminous voluminous carbon black mascara for the lashes they already give you some volume they don't really give you so much um black lashes but they give you some volume they're, I mean, pretty natural. Today we're not doing lashes. Last time I had lashes. This look was, like, from my last videos. And I really like the two. I love these mauve shades. They're sophisticated. If you don't want to go, like, in with shimmers, you can totally rock this look. On the holidays, for a sophisticated look. Or just for an everyday look, I use it also. I mean, for everyday look, I just, like, use these looks. I love my mattes. I don't know why. I just can't get away from them anymore. And I love them. Then to make this mascara a little bit more dark, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Just go over it. It gives you a little bit more black in it. In the lashes. And then I always freaking like, I'm sorry, I always get like this mascara on myself. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're just going to do the lips. And, okay, first I'm going to do blush. So for blush, I love using my old time and always going to be my good time. Um, Elf blush palette in the dark one and i'm gonna be using this rosy one right here in the corner well all of them are in the corner as a blush i already contoured i don't really highlight as much right now this season and because these are so pigmented i usually just tap it 
and then I'm going with my arm like that to take off some of the excess like I had it there okay so now that we're done with that I think I want to outline my lips with mahogany from NYX Cosmetics with this lip liner I think it's a little bit too dark than what I wanted But we're going over, so I just make a one right there. Okay, and then with this lipstick, the one that I used in my previous video, go watch it. Comparing it to the, it's a dupe for the Carbon Lolita liquid lipstick, Nude Nuance from Maybelline. I love it. Okay, so this is a mm, pretty much a mauve obsession look. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for requesting this look, sister. And hope you enjoyed and hope you got a little bit of more of the vibes that you were seeing that day that you really liked. And thank you for watching, guys, and welcome back to my channel. And we're going to be doing more videos and more looks through this season. Thank you for watching. Bye.